Well, snow watch. Day 11, it snowed so hard last night, I blew my engine. Haha, <laughs> just shitting ya. Still no snow. But, uh, yeah, so that's that snowball I was talking about, that crash one. Picked up a little while ago, and I gotta get a uh, new motor for it. But, uh, I'll get into that in a second. But, yeah, so I gotta get a new motor for that. Um, out of all the motors I have, between these and the other stuff that I have, I don't have one that fits that kind of a shaft. It's a 7 8 So we got to find some more. I went down to my buddy there, Crazy Larry, and he's telling me that it had a 1 inch on it. Before I didn't take off the uh, the pulley when I when I was down there. He's saying, oh no, it's a, it's a 1 inch. I'm like, no bud, no, it's not a 1 inch. It's a 7 8 He goes, I never heard of a 7 8 before. So then he was trying to tell me it's probably a three-quarter. I go, no, dude, it's not three-quarter. I know it for a fact. So sure enough, I know my shit more than he does, and yet he runs a business. So I'll be back down there tomorrow showing him the pulleys, and hopefully he'll uh, find something for me. He's got a couple modes. I looked at one. I know. I think he's got one there, and uh, I'm interested in. But, uh, yeah, so I gotta go back down there tomorrow, find a motor. If not, then it's gonna stick on Craigslist and sell her the way she be. I'm gonna pull the motor off of it and sell the chassis for a hundred bucks. Someone, someone will get a good deal on that. But, uh, yeah, so today's video is gonna be, uh, some of my favorite power equipment that we have. Between tractors, snow blowers, and, uh, different things like that. So I'll show you guys some of my favorite... Some of my favorite toys I have um, here today, as of to date. Um, probably, I guess we could start in the shop. My first favorite toy is this uh, little, little tiny uh, two horse Briggs and Stratton motor that's sitting up there. Runs great, came off of a uh, water pump, is what I've been told by a couple of YouTubers now. And uh, it's a fun little motor. I think it's pretty cool. Only two horses. So. It's a whopping two horses, it's a whopping 109 cc's, uh, so that's a pretty cool little unit. Um, next up, what else we got in here? Oh, I know, the uh, my wheel horse. This, I think, is the most coolest tractor I think we've ever gotten in the shop. Definitely a pretty cool unit. Um, probably the steel. The steel is probably definitely cool. Uh, cool saw, the steel ST400 here. Uh, that thing cuts like through cement, like no problem. Like I did that, and I also did the driveway, a couple of other things, and a couple other side jobs. And that thing, that thing there just demolishes anything it's got in its way. Uh, what else we got in there? Nothing really else. I'm looking around, looking up there. Uh, get the chainsaw, but that's not important. Everyone's got a chainsaw. Let's take a look outside what we got. I know. My ZR700. Definitely my all time favorite toy. Got the fast track, long travel suspension in it. Definitely a cool unit. Uh, what else? Oh, my Hosfarna. Definitely up in the top tens here. Nice unit. Got that brand new 26 horse Briggs on it. It's got the big tires with the weights on it. It's a nice unit. I like it. Wouldn't sell it unless something else came about and so I needed some money or something. Um, probably this Toro power shift because this is the more commercial one. This has the overhead valve one. Um, definitely pretty nice uh, snow blower. Pretty cool how the wheels move in and out. Uh, what else? Oh, I know. Probably the most different thing we've ever gotten in the shop is this, uh, this Aaron's Power Broom. I got this in about a month and a half ago. Really, really cool unit. Um, Aaron's Power Broom. It's got the heated hand grips, it's got the lights. It's loaded, it's got 11 horse on it, I think. Let me just double check before I confirm. Nope, nine horse. It's got a nine horse on it. The uh, nice big brush attachment on it. It's 
Took it to Kawasaki, sitting at the Billy Goat Kawasaki, the hill Billy Goat. Um, with the burns, the LT1000, I custom built that LT1000. Stuck a Hydrostack foot drive transmission in it and ripped out the six speed. Um, what else? We got the DLT, DYT, whatever you want to call it, that's PJs. Uh, what else we got in here? Oh, the uh, QT50. The Yamaha QT50. We haven't drove this in quite some time. This is, I, I can almost guarantee you, this is one of PJ's most favorite toys. He loves this thing. Loves this thing. Does right around 25 miles an hour. Just enough to uh, scoot around here and there and go trash picking. Um, definitely the, my first riding lawnmower ever, which is sitting back here, is uh, the Han. Uh, the Han Eclipse there that I restored. I don't know if we can get a good shot of it. It's kind of tarped over different things, but you guys can kind of sort of see the back of it. It's back there. So we're eventually going to get this thing back out of here soon. Right now I'm in the process of trying to find another garage where I can just store some of the nice stuff there. Um, got a Briggs Vanguard up there. That's a nice motor. What else we got in here? We got a couple weed eaters. PJ's weed eater, my weed eater. Uh, bicycle. Yeah, let's see what else we got. Z440, that's a pretty cool toy that we picked up over the summer for 1100 bucks with a brand new track on it. Uh, that's just about it. That's pretty much all the coolest power equipment toys that we have. Um, I'm supposed to be getting my hands on a uh, Arian Zero Turn. I've been saying that for the past months on end now. Um, it's at the dealership. I know where it's at. I'm going to leave it there until the spring. It's uh, it's a nice unit. It's a full-on sit-down, zero-turn unit. Uh, it's got the hydrostack transmission in it. I think it's got like a 50-inch uh, deck on it, maybe a 46-inch deck. Um, really nice, really nice zero-turn. I'm not really sure what the deal is with it, so I'll have to look into it. My like probably the drive is gone or something on it. But I think it's got a, uh, I think it's got like a 14-horse Briggs or something on it. So I'll be, I'll be eventually getting that, but um, yeah, so this is some of just my top uh, top power equipment that I probably won't sell um, anytime soon anyway, um, but the, those are just some of my favorite things I like have around the shop here, and uh, pretty much all that stuff that I showed you is we use in the summertime daily. I mean, every now and then me and PJ will take a tractor out for a rob or uh, the Husqvarna, I mean, PJ always mowing lawns in the summer. I got to get a, uh, a deck for the uh, D DYT there for PJ. I already located a deck. I just got to get an electronic PTO clutch for it. So I got to look on eBay for one of those. Um, but then I also might be getting another zero turn in over the uh, the mid winter that we're having. Probably during February, I'm going to pick up another zero turn. Um, it's another sit down unit. And I want to use that for the landscaping in the summertime. Um, cause I'm hoping to, I'm really hoping to get that going. I want to, you know, do a couple yards. And I know PJ is looking for money, so we'll have him or something on a zero turn, me on a zero turn, just do nuts, you know, get a couple of jobs off of Craigslist, and we'll be good to go. But uh, yeah, so those are my, some of my favorite tractors and power equipments and such on the uh, property as of to date. Um, so yeah, I, don't, I think tomorrow's plan is we're going to do a little bit of work on that Crossman and uh, see what's going on with it. I already know the motor going on. I'm going to pull the motor off of it and see if I can't stab a new one on there. If not, then I'm just going to uh, sell the chassis separate and strip all the parts off of it. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, that's today's video. Uh, I know it hasn't much making a video a week due to the fact that we ain't got a lot going on. It's just really, really cold and uh, there's no snow. Yeah, not a flake of snow. Son of a bitch! Why won't you dance now?